in this lecture we will see the function of compensating winding and how they helps to improve the commutation for a dc machine and also we will discuss about the comparison of this compensating windings with the inter poles okay in this figure you can see it is a two pole machine and in the slots of the machines you can see a cruise and a dot portions this will indicate compensating windings for a two pole machine this two pole machine so we can say that they are embedded or placed in the slots of the main poles or we can say that the compensating windings are embedded on the slots of the pole faces pole faces is nothing but the tip of the main pole okay we know that during changing load conditions for dc machine for dc mainly for dc generators when the load changes from no load to full load or some other kind, some other loads armature current will also changes as per the loads due to change in these loads armature reaction will occurs and the reaction armature reaction will be different as per the different loads so during this changing load times the flux will move from its forward and backward directions so this fluctuations of the flux will lead to the production of statically induced emf in dc machines that finally leads to short circuits in the machines and finally completely the machine may get damaged in order to avoid this compensating windings are placed on the slots of the main poles in series with the armature windings and the important point is that the compensating windings flux will be equal and opposite to that of the armature flux in order to oppose the armature flux that means compensating windings are mainly used to avoid or reduce armature reaction because we know that armature flexes always opposes the main flexes so the entire function will get reduced so the opposing action of the armature is neutralized by this compensating windings the flux under the main poles will get the armature flux under the compensating winding will get opposed by the flux produced by this compensating winding so armature flux under this compensating windings get neutralized or the armature reaction that can be demagnetizing effect of armature reaction that is neutralized or reduced by the compensating windings that is the function of this compensating winding to reduce the armature reaction during the changing load conditions or fd loads and they contains or they carry the flux which is equal and opposite to that of the armature flux because the armature flux is always opposing the main flux so we want to neutralize this armature flux for better operation for that purpose we are using this compensating windings that is the first function of the compensating windings and already we discussed about interpoles interpoles are nothing but they are able to provide equal and opposite voltages in order to oppose the reactance voltage produced during the short circuit period so and they are placed in series with this figure you can see that this is interpoles pole windings and this is compensating windings both these windings are connected in series with the armature windings and they carries mmfs which opposite to that of the armature mmfs so armature reaction will get reduced 
various compensating windings and also since they are connected in series with this armature windings they will helps to reduce the commutation or they will provide more supports to the interpoles to make good commutation in dc machines since they are like since they are connected in series with this armatures armature windings so purposefully function of interpoles and function of compensating windings are same we can say that both these techniques can be used to improve the commutation for dc machines and also we can say that the compensating windings will reduce the demagnetizing effect of armature reaction okay because they will oppose the flux armature flux under this main poles and interpoles can also used for dc machines to reduce the armature reaction that is close magnetizing effect of armature reaction this close magnetizing effect of armature reaction is mainly occurs in the interpolar regions so due to the presence of this interpoles at the interpolar regions the close magnetizing effect of armature reaction is also reduced so interpoles and compensating windings can used to improve the commutation and also they can used to reduce armature reaction for dc machines okay these are the major functions both of them have the same functions but purposefully we can say that main function of compensating winding is to reduce armature reaction but they will helps to improve the commutation and for interpoles their function is to neutralizes the reactance voltage induced in the short circuited coil under the commutation during the commutation period and also they will helps to reduce the cross magnetizing effect of armature reaction the cross magnetizing effect of armature reaction is mainly occurs in the interpolar axis so we can say that they can used to reduce the armature reactions so these are the main functions of compensating windings and interpol interpoles okay based on these discussions we can conclude that we can improve the commutation for dc machines by three methods first method is we can use high high resistance carbon brushes instead of low resistance copper brushes that that is the first point and the second point is mmf or emf method that method can used for dc machines by to, uh, by adopting two methods that is brush shifting method or use of interpoles emf for mmf method means we can oppose the reactance voltage that is reactance voltage is the major cause for poor commutation in dc machines so that can be reduced by using or completely neutralized by in, by the use of interpoles brush shifting method is not in practical use and the third method is use of compensating windings and we discussed about this compensating windings in detailed in this portion here so these are the major methods that can used to improve the commutation methods commutation for dc machines and here we discussed the compensating windings in comparison with the interpoles okay thank you